well everyone enlisted is on steam and it's gone that's right enlisted has been removed from the steam store after less than a day that's right i think it was i think it was like nine hours or something like that it was a truly strange day yesterday watching all of this unfold. Most of it spent for me personally swinging between laughing at how absurd everything was and how crazy of a decision it was to release the game on Steam in its current state. And then going back to realizing that half my income and my future growth as a content creator relies pretty large in part to the success of this Steam launch and enlisted in general. Yikes. Darkflow has since put out a statement basically saying they're sorry about how the launch happened. We are deeply sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. Guys, let's try to go through what happened to cause such a complete failure of a Steam launch. So to start off, in case you guys were completely unaware and missed yesterday... Enlisted was announced to be coming to Steam some months ago. It was actually announced last year as part of the roadmap, but that wasn't actually official. They didn't say Steam, but it was pretty clear. Anyway, the game was slated for the end of quarter one 2024, which ended in March, and was originally planned to be completely free to play. People were, generally speaking, pretty happy with this. No one was really upset. We want it to come to Steam, we want more players, and for the game to succeed. Then, a few weeks before the release, a date of March 28th is announced, and to many people's shock along with that, Darkflow actually explained that the free-to-play game Enlisted, which has been free-to-play for three years now, will only be available on Steam to players who buy a Steam bundle. In typical Darkflow fashion, they make no announcement of what these bundles will contain, and no information about them is given at all other than we need them to play on Steam. This is also all done under the excuse of closed access testing. We're not going to have any kind of, you know, you have the game free to play and then you can buy some exclusive Steam bundles to get people in the door and get people buying things the way that basically every other game that I'm aware of uh, does it. Instead, no, you have to outright pay to be able to play the game. Or you can go play it for free on the enlisted launcher. But here's the problem, guys. We aren't testing anything. Enlisted reinforced on Steam is just enlisted. That's it. Sure, we get access to some Steam features. And if we have a Steam Deck or Linux, then now we can play the game and use them. But we're not actually getting access to anything in game that wasn't already available. This isn't like Tunisia closed testing, where you get access to an entirely new campaign that we can start grinding and playing. New maps, uh, gameplay, new weapons and vehicles, things like that. No, you're basically just paying for the privilege to beta test their Steam Deck performance for them. Which is nonsense. That's their job. That's 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 Darkflow's job, the developer's job, to test the platforms that they're releasing the game on. I mean, what other game can you guys think of that has done this? When Overwatch 2 launched on Steam, did you guys have to pay to play the game on Steam? Of course not. When War Thunder released on Steam, and the Steam Deck was released for War Thunder, did you have to pay to use that for the privilege to use that? No, of course not. So why in the world are we expected to do it here? Now let me also mention something else. As dumb as this decision is, I actually think other games could probably have gotten away with this. Like, it, but in Enlisted's case, people are already so fed up with the overwhelming monetization of the game, combined with so many issues going unfixed for so long, that this was more just the straw that broke the camel's back. After all, when you have certain mechanics like paratroopers that are locked behind a paywall despite constant feedback uh, that says that we don't want that to happen, or when you have iconic vehicles like the Firefly, the Churchill, or the Stug G that are only possible to play by spending $40 or whatever, people get frustrated, people get upset. And then you have major game issues like how unbalanced Battle Rating 3 can be, or Silver Gain still feeling fairly atrocious. Basic mechanics like bipods still not working properly, despite tons of feedback asking them to be fixed. All of these things going on, so on and so forth, they're still not resolved after months or even years depending on the issue. People get frustrated. 
And then something like this steam release happens, and a lot of that frustration just comes out. It boils over and is often directed sometimes at the wrong people. And of course, by that, what I mean is enlisted helpers, our faithful community managers out there. Guys, these people, these guys and gals on the enlisted helper team do some absolutely incredible work, both behind and in front of the scenes to help make enlisted a better game. I have absolutely zero doubt in my mind that they have only Enlisted's best interest at heart, and every single helper has done some absolutely tremendous work spearheading the quality of life fixes and gathering feedback from players to make the game better. They're the ones who have unfortunately been caught in the crossfire here, and I've seen some people take some incredibly fair attacks and shots at them uh, due to their frustration. And while I understand the frustration, I definitely don't think attacking the people who are just trying to make the game better and are probably just as frustrated by this as we are is the right thing to do right you shouldn't attack those people so i just wanted to take a quick second and kind of give a big shout out to them and the tireless work that i know you guys do but regardless who is at fault obviously it's not the helpers and i don't think it's the players either is it gaijin secretly pulling the strings in the background causing the steam release to tank so bad is it some marketing manager or executive at Darkflow who just kind of made a bad call? Is it the evil greed of capitalism eroding our modern society, poisoning the purity of art that is game design, corporate greed, and an endless desire for growth? No, it's not really that either. Guys, in my opinion, it doesn't matter. I, I honestly don't care who's at fault. I, I really could not care less about who is at fault. I just want a good game. Like the rest of you guys. I want to make cool videos. I don't want to make this kind of stuff. I'm tired of these $60 premium bundles of vehicles or weapons that should be standard in the game. I'm tired of spending $10 just so I can put a decal on my tank or put a, you know, a, a bush on the side of it to look cool. And then being able to uh, be unable to transfer that decal between tanks or having to spend $20 to outfit my squad with uh, uniforms that are only available in one of the campaigns, one fifth of the gameplay that I'll be using. I'm tired of gray zone tanking, plane cycling, unbalanced battle ratings, the vitality perk for God's sake, my tank spawning inside a, ta uh, inside a house or upside down and so on and so forth. All of these issues that I know Darkflow is aware of because the helpers have sent this information to them. And then when solutions do finally come, they often feel disconnected from reality. Like with the recent changes to silver or the recent achievements added. Yeah, they're good and I'm glad they happen. But really, a thousand silver for getting a 50 kill streak or for getting 5,000 kills? Seriously? I mean, it feels like the devs just simply don't play their own game. Because the problem at the end of the day is that Darkflow constantly talks to us and announces about how much they value player feedback, how they're always listening to us and making changes. Yet a lot of those changes feel like they don't come. And instead, we get this Steam release, which once again makes people feel like Enlisted doesn't actually care about their feedback and our feedback, and instead only cares about how much money is in our wallets.